Jody and Hazy's Off Air Podcast. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the podcast. <laughs> Thanks for finding us, um, and we're going to do our best to find you. And welcome to Josh Morrow, who is just an exquisite human. How are you, Josh? Oh. <laughs> Good, thanks, guys. Thanks for having me on the podcast. Well, we can't introduce you without um, mentioning your luscious hair. Yeah, it's just Can ridiculous. We? So, Josh is responsible for everything that is, you know, to do with the camera, also mm. social media, mm. um, and also funky shirts. Yeah. Loves to wear a little maroon sort of purple number as well, and just yeah. really, really live it, even though it's really quite cold outside. That's me, thank you guys. Um, yeah. yeah, if you if you're talking to Jody and Hazy in the inbox, you're actually talking to me. That's yeah, uh, okay. Yeah, that's what I do around here. Filters a lot of nasty messages. So oh, many. Oh, oh really? <laughs> no, no, no. So don't say many. that because then I get all sensitive and sad. Yeah, yeah the, uh, a second you said that, I was like, oh no. <laughs> Here we go. It's Here we go. It. No, nah, it's okay. You've just unhinged Jody again. Well, just well, you got to ask yourself though. Well, why? Oh. Why are you getting such heat? Do you know what I mean? Oh, I'm just kidding. Oh my god. Just kidding. Hey, Joshy, you were there Friday night when we did our debut performance on the stage because we're theatre people now. Yeah, yeah, mm. oh, indeed I was. I was I was backstage with you guys. Mm. Just for context for the listener, that was two days ago for us. Mm-hmm. But we're going to post this podcast after a couple of weeks when the dust has settled. Okay. <laughs> Because you guys were quite naughty on Friday oh, night, weren't you? Excuse me, define naughty. Thank um, you very much. So the uh, the people from the festival theatre said we were absolutely not allowed to have one or two cheeky beverages before we went on stage. Oh, the same people that wanted us to dance in our knickers yes. and fishnet stockings and high heels mm. in front of thousands of festival goers. I wouldn't have thought, guys. Yeah. Wouldn't have thought. I ended up having one or two cheeky beverages every one or two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you couldn't tell, could you? <laughs> ah, it's fine. Let's pull back the, um, lift up the peel behind the curtains, yes. as you like to say. Thank you very much. Um, so we were told, okay, you're not allowed to have any drinks. This is a Friday night. This is post a very, very large week of work. Yep. So we get to the theatre and we walk into our dressing room, which was so lovely. They set it up and had snacks and everything, but it was just water. Yeah. Lucky I came prepared. Yeah. <laughs> so we might have had a little hip flask. Yeah, Jenny brought a little hip flask, which was so nice because we had separate times to do makeup. Yeah. Um, and look, I felt like I didn't even need to ask Jody because we've just got this relationship. Well, I know that she would have said, yes, go for it. So I helped myself to... A fair bit of that vodka. You actually rifled through my yeah. handbag. God forbid I had something naughty in there, but you rifled through my handbag, found the hip flask, and helped yourself to three quarters of it. Honestly, you could have had anything in there. You could have had a couple of guns in there. I wouldn't have. All my brain was looking for and could identify was this hip flask. Yes. Sort of gone straight past all that sort of stuff. And you found it. I did find it. Um, and then not long after that is where things get a little bit hazy. A little bit Andrew hazy. Yeah. <laughs> my my favourite thing was Hazy's first sip of the vodka, oh, and then he like he watched that. his eyes roll back, and he was like, "Oh no!" And so he's like flatlined, going for this, <laughs> going for the soda water, trying not to spit it out. Finally, gets it open, puts it up to his lips, coughs the vodka back into the bottle. It sprays the oh, soda water back oh, out of his face. It's horrible. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I um, ingested vodka. It's really quite disgusting. Um. Okay. <sighs> so, what, what I didn't realise is that you like regurgitated my vodka back into the bottle. Is no, that, that what was into the soda water bottle? Right. So yeah, I took a swig from uh, the hip flask and then went straight to the soda water bottle. But really, really disgusting stuff. But look, sometimes that's and yet what you went back do. for more and yeah. more and more and more. It's all part of the process, and that is like when you get into this space where you're a genuine actor. Yes. Uh, you just, you don't mess with your routine. Okay. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking such shit. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. I, I tell you what astonished me, Joshy, the amount of confidence he had strutting around in oh, high heels, yeah. fishnet stockings and a corset. You talk to it like oh, no man I've ever seen before. Yeah. You got to know your strengths. So how did you feel? And my strengths, my calves. And when you give me some shoes that somehow even elevate the status of my calves and it's mm. like, w- w- what are we going on here? Good luck, the rest of the competition. Yeah. 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 Um, but how did it make you feel on the inside when you're strutting around in that stuff? Uh, you get a, a different sort of sense of confidence, don't you? Well, I don't know. You're telling the you story. You really feel like you own the world. Yeah. Um, and the sense of confidence is really quite nice. I took it too far. I started giving um, <laughs> uh, Frank and Furtis some advice. And you know, I was giving Miff Warhurst some advice at some stage, I reckon, you know, about how she should go about her narrating job. That's probably getting too confident. But 
Yeah, it felt good. This it felt is, really um, good. There's this great video that the PR person sent me of you right before you're going to go on stage and they're halfway through the announcement and you're already trying to burst through. She's like, <laughs> no, not yet. No, not yet. And you're like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> I was watching you from the other side of the stage. You were like, um, the best, I think, um, uh, comparison I can make is like a horse that's yeah. in a barrier, <laughs> right? And it just wants to go. It yeah. just wants to run. You were just like that horse that's like banging it. <laughs> yeah, spot on. A horse by name and by nature. Uh-huh. Not surprising at all. Not according to the audience. <laughs> actually, actually, on that, <laughs> I'd love to say that um, Hazy gets backstage and he's in his Speedos, right? Yeah. And then the costumer goes, um, did you bring briefs to wear under that? Yeah. And he goes, no, why? And she goes, well, because like, once we you get up back. on the stage lights, yeah. you'll see everything. <gasps> yeah. And, and she goes, well... I've got I've got some spare briefs here. I've got I've got a small or I've got a large. Yeah. And Hazy, not even joking, goes, I'll take a medium, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what the worst thing about that Speedo story? Is that I got up on Saturday morning and I went to my handbag and I pulled out your Speedos. <laughs> I don't know how they ended up in there. Burn them. Burn them. How did they end up in my handbag? <laughs> Good luck explaining that to Greg. <laughs>